Hi guys. Um, yeah, I haven't been around for a while, I'm afraid. I've been a bit AWOL. Um, just had stuff going on and just, you know, lovely weather and I just wanted to concentrate on, you know, the kids being home, weekends and doing stuff in the nice weather. Um, so yeah, that's basically, basically why I haven't been around. There's no, no other excuse apart from that. Um, I just kind of got into the habit of not making videos and then really kind of missed it so yeah I'm back and I'm back with one of my favorite things which is an epic haul I always do this um, if I sound a bit weird it's because I can't actually hear myself I've got a cotton wool in my ear I had a bit of a head injury yesterday and uh, yeah not good so yeah I've got a haul I've got loads of stuff hair body makeup accessories and a must-have which I'll show you right at the very end. I'm going to start with the makeup for those of you that sort of only tuned in for the makeup. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get started. And then if you want to click off after that, you're quite welcome. So, the first place I'm going to say I went is Super Drug. Um, I'd seen these on, pretty sure it's Becca Rose's channel. Um, if you haven't subscribe to Becca Rose why not she's amazing and she uh, raved about these in her favorites I think it was and these are the collection gorgeous glow sort of like shimmer bricks one's a sort of bronzy peachy color and the other one's more of a just bronzy color um, so I'll swatch them for you now this is what they look like they're very very nice packaging and as you can see they don't look very shimmery there but they are so this one is called Blush Block, um, and you just sort of swirl it round, and then, oh, it's just gorgeous. And that's the sort of shimmer it gives off on there, so that's that one. And the next one is called Bronzing Block, door, um, and that one looks like this, so like that. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, very similar sort of colour. And that's that's bronzing block and that's blush block. So yep, that's those two. Got those. I think they were two ninety nine each possibly. So that's that one. Um sorry about that. So yeah, that's what those two look like. Really nice, really shimmery beautiful so that those um let's go on to i've got a ton of lipsticks so i'm gonna do them last <laughs> eyeshadows i think so these i picked up in i think i picked up this one in boots and this is a number 17 number 17 17 and it's just the most beautiful color um, it's called rose quartz now i've had this one before Oh, there you can't even you see it. It's a beautiful colour. It's got a rosy glow to it, um, and it's just beautiful. That's just one swipe, and it's really nice all over the lid. Um, but yeah, I had to pick that one up again because, I, like I said, I used to have this one, and I chucked a load of 17 eyeshadows away because they were so old, and Rose Quartz was one of them. So I had to get it back because I love it. Um, then I've got a nice shadow from. Primark um, and this one, I don't even know if these have got names probably not being, oh there we are brown um, and they look like this they're baked so they're domed and it's got loads of sparkle and glitter in it oh, it's, just, it's beautiful you can see the glitter and sparkle um, oh, look at that that is such a good quality glitter eyeshadow and this was only two 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 fifty for this eyeshadow, but it's baked and you get loads, so you can use this wet as well. And it, oh, it's just amazing! I love it. The glitter that you can see. There, can you see that? Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, they had loads of different colours, but I just I just liked that colour. I thought it was really nice, just for. Oh, I don't know. I just liked it. Yeah, I was drawn to it. That's what it was. So that is that one. And then I've got three from Lovey Cosmetics. Um, which is just a, it's now a shop, it's mainly an online shop. I've got three shadows and one sort of base. 
Um, so the base that I picked up is just a creamy eyeshadow and this one is in, doesn't say, but it is it's sort of a, a clear sort of shimmery, I'll do a swatch, um, it's like a shimmery sort of thing and that just, just like a cream eyeshadow. But it is perfect for the, the shadows that I've got to go over it, which are loose pigment. So I've got one which is sort of like a silvery colour, one's blue and one's lilac. Um, so let me do the lightest one first. Oh. Now the only thing with these, these are the pots. And the only thing with these is that the little sprinkle thing at the top is so loose, it's crazy. But I will do swatches anyway. That's the fun. I've got to get the lid back on this really quick because they tend to pop off and go everywhere. Um, so that is that one and that's really silvery glittery. There's that one there. And then I've got the purple one which again hasn't got a name on it but oh, I love this one. I think I actually got this one. I've got something very similar to this on my eye at the moment but that's that one. I love loose pigments but they are a pig to work with. Um, so that's the lilac one underneath and blue being my second favourite eyeshadow colour I love this one so let's have a swatch of this beautiful 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 um, so that's the one there and that's the blue and they are so nice and they're all glittery but it's it's not a real chunky in your face glitter it's just a a real nice sort of subtle I mean I've got the one I've got on sort of here is very similar this is a actually a Barry M one but oh, I just love them so that's the eyeshadows that I picked up then I picked up a mascara from oh where did I get it from I don't know this is the waterproof one I, I'm really into waterproof mascaras at the moment um, and I love the five in one or does it all, whatever it is, by collection, and it looks like this. Um, and I just love the brush. It's one of those really sort of sturdy brushes. Um, and I just love them. It's quite a dry mascara, but I don't mind that. I don't really like really wet mascaras. So I picked that one up. Um, then I'm going to go to Pound World and show you what I've got in there, because I can then go on to the lipsticks. So, Pound World. First I'll just pick up the, the, the things that are usually in the packets and stuff. This is one of those little um, Matt, Matt, Manhattan, I couldn't pronounce it, um, eyeshadow quads and they're just sweet, just in a little cardboard packaging. And this one is called Bella Limperella, Bella Limperella, I think that one's called. Bella Zimperella. And I just like the colours in this because it's got the green, which is my first all-time favourite eyeshadow colour. Um, but these are the colours that you get in there. So I'll do some swatchy swatches. I've got like a dark green, sort of musty green. And I've got a slightly lighter green. And I've got a lilac, which isn't brilliant. And then I've got a peach. So that's the colours. Um, and swatched on the back of my hand. The peach one you can see is very, very powdery, um, and the lilac one's not brilliant, but I just like two greens, and it was only a pound, so yeah, pick that up. Um, then I picked up one of these um, NYC uh, City Proof 24 Hour Pencils, now the only one I could find in there was the black one, but it's the one I wanted anyway, so that's what they look like, and you wind them up and wind them down. Um, and it's just really nice for smudging along the lash line or underneath or so yeah pick one of those up if I like that I would actually go and pay full price for the others but I'll leave that one on there because I want to see how much it sets um, and then now Pound World have brought out their makeup range of their own um, like Poundland is the makeup gallery um, Pound World have followed suit and they've brought out their own little makeup range and they are Miss Beauty London. That's what they look like. That's what the logo looks like. This is the actual waterproof mascara, which I must admit I've tried and it's really quite good. 
it's got a nice brush on it so that's the brush and yeah it's really quite nice it's quite a wet mascara but you know whatever um but yeah i like that so i'm gonna do a review on that at some point and then the lipsticks oh my god i could have bought all of them they've got um but the stand itself is sort of like situate the lipsticks are situated in one, two, three. I think it's two or three shelves. Um, and they have groups of lipsticks, like groups of nudes, groups of pinks, groups of neutrals, groups of reds, groups of darks. Um, so I've got a little array of, um, you know, a few. I've got six. I'm going to swatch these for you now. These are lovely. I don't actually know if I prefer these better than the uh, Makeup Gallery ones because I do like their lipsticks. Right, so the first one, um, and they've actually got names as well for a pound. The first one I'm going to show you is Flirty Pink. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, flirty Pink. And oh, this is such a gorgeous colour. Now the smell is really old sort of old fashioned lipstick smell, but I don't mind that. I think it's quite comforting. They smell like the really old fashioned lipsticks, um, but they stay on your lip for ages. So that's Flirty Pink. They're really pigmented as well, so that one's flirty pink and I love it. Then the next one I'm going to go to is Rose, which looks like that. And again, so pigmented, slightly darker purpley colours, sort of hints of purple in that one, which I really, really like. So that's Rose. Then we have... Amethyst, which is that. Oh, very similar to Rose, but slightly more sort of like purpley lilac. So this is Amethyst. And they're lovely. It's so creamy as well. <coughs> and then I've got three sort of darkish colours. Well, I've got a nude and two sort of dark colours. <coughs> so the nudey one I've got is actually called Mauve or Mauve or Mauve, whichever you want to pronounce it. So this is like the nudey one. It's quite a dark mauve, but oh, again, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then I've got a bright classic red, which is called Truly Red. And that's that one. Absolutely gorgeous colour. Uh, so I'm going to swatch that, swatch that there. So beautiful. So pigmented and so creamy, it's unbelievable. And they're a pound, guys, it's just, just stupid. And the vampy colour I got is called Gusset, which is just a sort of more vampy dark red. And oh, it's beautiful! So that's that one. So that's all six lipsticks that I got. And I'm going to go back and get some more because they are amazing. And like I said, they stay on the lips forever. So that is that one. Um, let me just remove them because I've got a ton more lipsticks to show you um, and I'm going to take that city proof oh wow city proof pencil is quite good it takes ages to come off um, right so I've got an array of lipsticks from just different places so I've got one from Essence um, which is sold in Wilco's in this in the UK and this one is natural beauty and this is just like a nude I love this one beautiful it's just so easy to wear this one is actually like a My Lips but Better when I've got it on. So I just picked up that. I do love Essence lipsticks. I just think they're beautiful. And I love the fact that they have the E imprinted on the um, bullet, should I say. Yeah, lipstick bullet. So that's that one. And then I'm going to collection to their uh, deluxe range, which is just amazing. I love this one. Um, I have actually got quite a few of these. Um, but these two colours I think were new because they were on a new display so I think they were new and these are the deluxe ones or yeah deluxe so it looks like that the packaging is you know slightly more posh if you like this one is called oh my god I can't read it oh seriously what does that say I can't I don't even know what that says I can't see what it says, but it is like a sort of light curly pink. And these uh, deluxe ones are so creamy. So that's whatever that colour is, because I can't read it. 
but it's um, number four if anyone ever goes in to have a look. And I also got number two, which <coughs> again I can't read, but this is more like a corally sort of pink. that one beautiful so that's the deluxe ones then I've got some uh, collection just again I think these are one's matte and one's shiny and the reason I say that is because one's got shiny packaging and one's got matte packaging so let's go for the shiny one first this is mulberry burst beautiful Again, can you see a pattern forming here with my lipsticks? Because I just do this all the time. Oh, it's just amazing. That's Mulberry Burst. I love my purples. Any sort of like tone of purple lipstick, I love it. Um, and the matte one, well, I think is matte. It's called Paper Rose. And this is this one. Yeah, there you go. And that's Paper Rose and that's matte. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's that one. There. Um, and then the last three lipsticks I've got, um, I think I have actually got already, and I've got one of them on, so I know I've got one already. Um, actually, no, I haven't. That's depraved, isn't it? Yeah, that's depraved. I've got cr uh, crime. I think I've got crime on from Makeup Revolution, but I picked these up because I just wanted dupes. Uh, copies of them because I love them backups if you like so the three I've got I think they're all scandalous colors the first one is dazzle and it's just the most amazing coral orange pink oh it's beautiful beautiful so I'm going to do swatches of those up here that's dazzle so vibrant so pigmented and they're just beautiful when they're on the next one I've got is Crime, and everyone that knows Makeup Revolution knows these lipsticks. This is Crime, it's just an amazing sort of purpley pink. Uh, so that's Crime in the middle. And the last one has got to be my favourite. I love this lipstick on. I have the uh, Velvet Lip Lacquer in this as well, and this is of course Depraved. Oh, I love it so much. And that's depraved. Beautiful. It's like a grey, silver toned um, purple, and I just love it. Uh, so that's all the makeup. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish there actually. I'm going to do a, a round two for the body and other stuff that I got. Um, so that's all the makeup that I picked up in the last sort of two, three weeks. Um, yeah, yeah. I might just add the two makeup brushes that I picked up onto this as well. So the two makeup brushes I got, two are from Poundland, two are from Wilkerson's. So they're the same. A Poundland powder brush, uh, the Allura one is just. I love this brush. It's amazing. Um, I have one out because I've used them already. They are so soft. They hardly shed at all. Um, and I use mine to apply my bronzer in just sort of like really wispy circular motions, just to get like a a colour around my face, just wisp it round, but they're good for blush, they're good for powder, they're good for anything, I love these brushes, I also have the little stumpy version of this as well, and I've got about four of them in my drawer for backups, uh, for a pound, it, it's stupid, so obviously picked up two of those, um, and the other one I got was from Wilkinson's, and this is the retractable kabuki, now they do this in a pink and they do it in blue, the pink for some reason is 50p more, than the blue one these blue ones are two pound fifty and it's just stupid so obviously what you do with these oh, what you do with these is you take the top off and there is your brush oh they're so soft so soft and uh, they're brilliant for plant powder they're brilliant for putting your bag because um, obviously you can shut them up they're just so soft for two pound fifty. This retractable kabuki is amazing, and it's it's quite dense, so it's dense enough to apply powder, and definitely dense enough to apply uh, mineral powder. But yes, I love that. So I got two of those. I don't know why the blue one is cheaper than the pink one, um, but I picked up two of those as well. So that is the makeup haul. 
that is all the makeup that I picked up in the last few weeks. Um, I hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope you come back to part two when I'm doing the hair body stuff. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I haven't been around for a while, uh, just wanted a break and yeah, enjoy the weather. I hope you're all having a lovely week. Um, thanks for saying subscribe, thanks for your loyalty and I'll see you all in my next video guys. Love you, bye.